Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here. So breaking news, the Washington Commanders have signed Austin Eckler to a two year deal worth up to $11.43 million. And it's gonna be a quick video, but this is breaking news, it's free agency on campus right now try to find the spot where there's no one so no one's gonna hear me ramble about the washington commanders but hey not what i was expecting today a four signings the commanders signed dorance armstrong first then they signed tyler biotish two cowboys players dan quinn's bringing over then my favorite signing of the day they signed frankie lulu uh or sorry frankie luvu uh, to a three-year 36 million dollar deal up to 36 million dollars and now Austin Eckler to a two-year deal worth up to $11.43 million. Austin Eckler has been an absolute stud for the last few years. And yes, he did have a down year this year. And a lot of people think he is washed. I think that's a possibility. But at the same time, everyone talks about that clip that, you know, he's running and he, he's going to the left side and like there's no one close to him and they get just caught he looks really slow and that that is true but he also is playing injured almost all of last year so i'm gonna give him a little bit of a pass on that one and you know especially the last half of the year he was playing injured and he wasn't you know fully himself i think he's 29 years old i don't have the stats up in front of me but i think i looked at it and he has like 69 70 i think it's ian rapport said it's 69 uh touchdowns over the last three years so that's a lot of touchdowns he gets you touchdowns robinson's still going to be the main back but i think austin eckler is going to be your receiving back that receiving back we need he's better i think he's better than gibson as a receiving back you're not paying him much and um he also can run the ball a little bit if you need to veteran leadership and he's going to be working with anthony lynn and there's people walking by very embarrassed but uh, Anthony Lynn is working with the commanders as I think I don't think he's a running backs coach I think he's some uh, coordinator so he's going to be reunited with him and you know that's when he did his best work so I know a lot of people are like oh, why are we getting Austin Eckler he's washed I still think he has some good years left and it's a two-year deal I guarantee you they can easily get out of it after one year if they really want to and this will be another weapon on this offense. So, you know, yes, he's not the same player he was, but I still think he is a solid running back in this league. He's not gonna get the same touches. So the wear and tear on his body isn't gonna be as bad. He's gonna be fresher, which is good as well. And, um, you know, he's primarily, we'll see, but I think primarily is gonna be a pass catching back for the commanders with Robinson getting most of the carries and you know of course Eckler's gonna get some they didn't sign him to just be a receiving back but I think that's primarily gonna be his role with the Washington Commanders and hey four signings in day one not expecting that Adam Peters and company they're not playing around and we'll see what happens the next few days I wouldn't be surprised if they sign some more guys and probably gonna wrap it up here hard to talk without seeing anything I'm just going off uh, I see nothing. I'm just, re you know, saying what I, what's in my head. Uh, but yeah, about to get dinner. Probably will make a full video later on. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And hail to the commanders. Peace.